Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Camilla. Um, I make videos for the Erin YouTube channel. I talk about intersex related topics, transgender related topics, and hell, I even review vapes sometimes. But today, it's been a while since I've uploaded and I kind of was like, I'm going to piggyback off of one of my older videos. And that is, why do transgender people date other transgender people? Um, the stigma of dating trans people as a straight person and just dating as trans in general. Also dating as an intersex person. So I'm going to cover a lot of these things and just be just very straightforward about it. Um, Pardon me. Tr dating as a transgender person is not easy, but it's not hard. There's a trick to it. And I have found that the uh, online dating platforms, unless you live in the middle of nowhere, it is more beneficial to network in real life than use dating apps uh, as a trans person. Building rapport with people in real life uh, is a lot different than building with rapport with people online. Um, dating apps are a means to an end. And yes, yeah, some people do find the love of their life off of OkCupid. Okay some people do. Uh, I mean, it happens. But in the real world, dating as a trans person and navigating those apps uh, is difficult. And when I did use those apps, I found that using apps like Grindr or Timey, Timey, I don't know how you say it, T-A-I-M-I, -I, uh, a lot of the LGBT dating apps um, are truly focused on sex, where a lot of straight dating apps are also focused on sex a majority of the time, but there are um, people out there who are looking for friends, um, they're looking for connections, and they're looking for relationships. So for me, um, my experience overall as a trans person, as an intersex woman, um, so if you don't know me, um, I'm Erin. I uh, go by Camilla, that's my legal name. I'm an intersex woman with a transgender experience. Um, most, trans, most intersex women born with persistent malaria and duct syndrome or raised as women. Um, I'm kind of an outlier where I was actually raised as a boy um, and transitioned into femalehood um, a little bit later in life, but I transitioned a lot earlier in life than most transgender people. I kind of keep a moderate stance on everything. I would not say that I am as conservative as Blair White, uh, but I'm also not like super, super liberal, like commie type personality. Um, I transitioned a long time ago and I use transition loosely because I was born with a female reproductive system. Um, so I was born with male genitalia that never developed. I really find that it's kind of hard to market myself as a trans person. But if I had to, I have found that dating other trans people to be uh, an easier means of dating than trying to date men or date women that are not trans. And the real reason behind why I think it's easier is it's simple. Em empathy. Um, being able to relate. So being transgender in today's day and age is a lot different than being transgender 15 years ago. Um, people didn't really know as much about it. It wasn't publicized. Um, people thought, didn't think that you could actually change your sex like they think you can now, which, which you can't. You can't change your sex. You can express yourself as the opposite gender. Um, you can, you know, take the hormones. You can live as. You can even legally change your sex. But with that being said, I'm talking about dating. And a little context uh, makes dating easier to talk about for myself. So um, for someone like myself, uh, branding myself as a trans person simplifies things. Dating as a trans person or dating as a woman with a penis, a woman with a penis, um, it makes dating hard. 
And one of the main issues is that you have a lot of men who find you sexually attractive as a woman. Like, in real life, um, men are sexually attracted to me. Like, as if I was born with a vagina. But it wasn't. And it's really confusing because I'm really like a gray area. I'm intersex. And I use trans adjective to describe myself to simplify all of this for YouTube purposes. I may make a video on dating as intersex. Um, but I feel like that I have more of a feminine experience than a trans woman. Um, because I have a female reproductive system. Um, there's a lot of things that my body has gone through that trans women don't naturally go through, like breast buds. Um, I started growing breast buds when I was like 11. So, um, and that's not even with hormones, that's with my body's hormones. So, it's a kind of a, it's hard. So I'm gonna market myself as trans or an intersex person, but we're focusing on that trans adjective. Men love to have sex with trans women that are pretty, uh, point blank. Um, they don't have to worry about pregnancy. They don't have to worry about commitment. They don't have to worry about very much at all because usually it's a one-time deal. Um, a majority of straight men that have sex with possible trans women, um, they're curious. And there's a lot of hype about trans people these days, especially like the past five, six years. It's all on the news, it's on TV, it's on TikTok, it's on YouTube, it's, it's fucking everywhere. Anyhow, dating um, is a lot harder than hooking up. And dating as a trans woman um, isn't easy. It, it's not that hard. But you have to know your target audience for who you're trying to date. I have found that it is easier to date other trans people. Um, like I said, because of being able to empathize, um, having similar experiences. Now, I would not date someone who's in the very beginning of their transition. Even if they're super pretty, like a trans girl. Uh, when you're very early in transition, your transition is everything to you. Being misgendered is like the end of the world. Um, like people that are early in transition are hypersensitive. So I have learned that it's easier to date trans people who have been on hormones, you know, at least five years. They have kind of know what they like. They have grown into their bodies. They probably have been experimenting sexually um, dating and all of that stuff as the gender they identify as. And dating other trans people uh, simplifies dating. Dating straight people is hard because you're usually a dirty little secret. Um, a lot of guys, if you, you feel like, you know, a lot of guys, if they see a pretty trans girl and they would not know she was trans if they weren't reading about her on a dating profile or if they got to know her well enough in real life where the girl tells them, hey, I'm trans. And a lot of trans women need to do that, especially really possible ones, for their safety. Because you don't want to, like, lead a guy on and then he finds out you have a penis and he's like, well, what the fuck, you know? Um, he's not going to be too happy. So it's important to... Um, be honest, regardless if it's online, and especially if it's in real life, but always be honest to men, always be honest to women, be honest to people, be transparent, um, uh, don't lie about your transition, don't lie about the time you've been doing it, don't lie about the procedures you've had, don't lie, um, be as honest as you can. Uh, especially with someone who's not trans. It's always important to be transparent and to be honest. Um, but I have tried dating trans people. I actually am in a relationship with another trans woman. And I'm in love with her. But I've dated a lot of trans women who are not all there mentally. Um, tried going on dates or getting to know. And a lot of trans women, not all, but a lot of them have shit going on they they're dealing with a lot of stuff and they're not 
they're not super emotionally stable all the time. And hormones, like cross-sex hormones, HRT can cause that. Um, especially like on the shot, like my girlfriend does shots on Wednesday. So I know Monday or Tuesday, she may be a little bit cranky and I kind of expect that. And I can relate with that because I know what it's like to have like, you know, hormonal, um, fluctuations where it can make you sensitive. It can make you cranky. It can make you cry, can make you sensitive and all that stuff. Um, and dating another trans person, I have found like for trans women, it's great to do your shot. Like if you're on the injection, doing your shot on the same day as your partner, that way you're kind of on the same hormonal cycle as your partner. Um, you guys will probably be going through your hormonal swings together and that kind of like, there's less time for crankiness if you're both going through your cranky time together um, and knowing not to step on each other's toes. Um, dating another trans person simplifies dating for the trans person. Bottom line, um, being able to empathize with your partner and finding out what works sexually, what works romantically, what works spiritually if you're religious like I'm dating a Jewish girl and I'm Jewish so it's like finding someone who has similar values and um, dating another trans person simplifies dating I cannot emphasize that enough um, in my relationship so I've been dating my girlfriend I don't know about four months and getting to know her and falling in love is absolutely wonderful like it's brought so much happiness into my life and we connect really well. We get along really well. Um, we take our shots the same day every week. Um, we're kind of like in sync with each other. We know what's going on and getting to know and learn each other in the way that we express ourselves. So she is a little bit more butch or androgynous in certain ways and I'm definitely like the like lipstick lesbian in the late relationship but she's not too far from a lipstick lesbian either. Um, I like pretty like uh, effeminate women so I like dating lipstick lesbians whether they're non-trans girls or they're trans girls like I like girly girls and I'm a girly girl myself so it's like I find that like you can find another lipstick lesbian and find one that tops or find one that bottoms or find one that switched like whatever position you are it's important to find someone that is the opposite or is able to do both because I'll sometimes like my girlfriend will top me and then I'll top her or um, she'll talk me for a week and then like one night she'll ask me to talk her. And it's like there's a being switch, uh, allows you to be more, um, you have more opportunities sexually being a switch trans woman, uh, sexually being switch or being burst or whatever you call it. Um, it kind of allows you to be more compatible with more people. Um, uh, if you're just a bottom, you're only gonna be interested in people who are tops because there'll be no sexual chemistry and without sexual chemistry, then not really a good relationship unless you're like in an asexual relationship and that makes you happy. But a, a good sex life is important. And another trans person probably understands what like bottom dysphoria, like genital dysphoria and knows how that feels. And it's like, you know, if I don't feel like having sex, um, my partner is a lot more understanding than, let's say, a straight guy who doesn't understand. Maybe I'm like sensitive, maybe I'm dealing with my hormones. Um, all of that stuff factors in. And I have dated straight men and bisexual men for a majority of my life. Mainly bisexual men because I don't feel like a man dating someone like myself is exactly straight. I find that bisexual guys that are attracted to trans women, that's kind of like a type. That's almost like its own sexual orientation. And it's hard to find those guys. I live in a big city and 
even living in a bigger city um, with tons of opportunities with dating apps or working, um, you know, it's not easy. Dating as a trans people, dating as a trans person is hard. It actually is. But simplifying it is dating other trans people. I really find that trans for trans, T for T relationships to be the easiest to get along with. And that's why I recommend T for T relationships. Um, I'm kind of new to them. And my relationship works. And if it's working, then I'm happy and my partner is happy. And I am in love right now and I'm in a good place. So it's like for all of my longtime followers, subscribers, viewers, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading work, my new relationship, moving. I mean, I've been through a lot of stuff over the past few months and honestly just haven't had the um, emotions and time to make these videos. So. For me, like, I have to be in a good place mentally, or I have to have the time in my day to make these, to upload these, and um, to avoid, you know, being demonetized on videos. Like, I have to be careful what I say. Um, but I just find that dating other trans people to be more understanding, and I suggest if you're new to transition or... If you've been doing it for a long time even and you're finding it hard to find love, try looking for love with another trans person. Um, it makes dating a lot easier. It has for me. And I'm at a point in my life where I'm getting into my mid-30s. I don't want to be single forever. And I have found someone that I think I could be compatible with for a long-term relationship. So... I kind of have been through a lot of different people, uh, gone on a lot of dates and had sex with men that I wish I hadn't done, but it got me to where I am today, so I'm not, hindsight's twenty twenty, and I wish I would have done this a lot sooner and just dated another trans woman. It makes it so much easier. I can't emphasize that enough. Like, look at... Fenster and Ashley, um, T for T. And they get along well, at least it seems like on the videos they make, they seem to be doing well. I find trans women dating each other, trans beings to be the easiest relationship, uh, easiest way to find love, easiest way to find someone who relates with you and, uh, you know, discussing sexual position preference, like finding a match. Once you find that match and you find someone that you love, uh, let your heart do the work because falling in love is beautiful. Um, if you need, uh, any, and if you need me to answer any questions for you, go ahead and comment. I'm going to really work on responding to these comments. It's been a long time since I've done a video and I am truly sorry about that, but Here's a video for you all. Uh, if you have any questions or if you're new to my channel, give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. Like it helps me, helps my channel grow and commenting helps my algorithm. So just give me even a thumbs up in my comments or say hi. Till next time.